Hi everyone, this is Kim with Abundant Life Tarot. I am here to do a quick follow-up video about my Delta Enduring Tarot. So, um, this deck, I have to say, I adore it. I do. I really do. There, um, the shuffleability, like the riffle shuffling, I just want to tell you, is amazing. I know in my unboxing video, I had indicated that I was not going to riffle shuffle. Um, I don't even know if I can do it in air, but we're going to try. It's kind of ridiculous, but we're going to try. Whoa! It's like magic, right? It's just like butter just better so that's one thing I wanted to talk to you about but a couple of tips that I wanted to bring up about this deck that will make your Delta Enduring Tarot experience all the better is I just want to say that the guidebook is to me a necessary purchase after playing with this deck um, for a little bit because there's 82 cards right and that means that there's bonus meanings. And plus, I like to get the artist's interpretation of a particular card and their perspective of why they did the deck in the first place. But a couple of notes about the, the book is um, there's no table of content, which is, you know, for me, I don't care. But for some people, that might be a bother. Um, the other thing and the most important thing is that the binding... Okay, I dropped this into my backpack purse not too long ago um probably when i first bought it and then not too long into it being in my bag the the binding started to rip so i'm like i need this book in my life so i need to save it as long as i can and i don't want to just not take the book anywhere so Anyways, I end up taking some shiny scotch tape and just binding the edge um, to kind of give it um, an extra, like extra strength, if you will, to strengthen up the binding of the book. So that's one thing. That's one thing I have to say. The book, um, I mean, it would be cool if, no, I, I wouldn't add anything about the book, actually. I would just say, yeah, again, I wish that the book was probably in a sturdier way. I don't know what that would be. Um, but I'm just giving you this tip to avoid ripping your binding. So that's what I'll say about that. Um, a couple of things about the deck itself is that it is, um, it does seem to be a good reader. That is the Ten of Oaks, which I believe is like the Ten of Wands. And here is the Ten of Oysters. Sage of Moss. I'm just going to show you some cards. I didn't get a chance to show you all. Two of Oysters in the unboxing. Here's... Um, I think I showed this. Here's Nine of Oaks. It's got a beaver. Or I think it's a beaver. It looks kind of scary. I don't know. I don't know. The Hanged Man. I think I showed this. Seer of Moths. I like the colors. I do. And this is... Uh, six of Pinnacles or six of Cast Irons. I really love this card. It's one of the reasons why I got it. Kind of reminds me of like my grandma on her back porch feeding all the animals that weren't allowed to come inside the house, but she would keep them around and they would, she would feed them every day. So they'd be around every day. And uh, here's eight of Cast Irons. I didn't show you all in the unboxing. I love this one too. It's like Eight of Pentacles. Totally get that. And <laughs> look at Novice of Oak. Novice of Wands. Like Page of Wands. 
ace of cast irons. I may have shown this to you all. I can't remember, but I like it. Just had some bomb ass shrimp last night. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a big seafood fan. And let me tell you a quick story about the strength card, and then I'm going to wrap up the video. But this strength card, here you go. There it is. You may notice that there's some markings here. That did not come with the deck. That happened because my dog got a hold of this particular card, took off, ran off, and the kids and I were chasing this dog. And then we happened upon the dog. He has the card firmly in his teeth. And I'm like, oh my God, if I rip it, I'm gonna rip the whole damn card. So what am I gonna do? So I ended up bending now gently pulling my daughter was also trying to get it and then her father from upstairs yells down to her she bumps up or she lifts up her head bumps me in the head and I knock back and I could taste blood in my mouth and I realized then that this was the strength card for real like it endured bite marks like you can see it here you can really see it there on my girl or well yeah my girl she wants to be a girl so that's what we're going to be and me and my daughter my daughter she was like all upset because she could tell i was a little disoriented um but i'm strong i'm strong as hell apparently so i got up and just pulled myself together gathered up my deck and moved on with life and that's the strength card for you folks and yeah so now this deck means even more to me now that it's all broken in literally um and just another little flashback on the empress which i am so happy that it is the crawdad or the craw maid the craw maid the levy love that that's the tower i was looking for okay here is the seven of wands and i really like this one defend to the damn end yeah i wanted to find the hurricane card because i don't know if i got a good look of it um here's nine of oysters so this would be like the nine of cups and shoot oh, i love the magician i can't get enough of it oh i don't know let's see oh look at this five of moths i'm assuming so five of air five of swords hey, look at this look it's gentrification y'all it says coming soon luxury condos live play love and then you have the black folks move it and i'm not laughing because I always do like this weird little chuckle that I hate that I do. It's like a little nervous, weird tick when I'm like, oh, like when something like sad or a little ironic or whatever, I have this weird chuckle. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But it's just, I, I love the, what the artist did here. She has um, this little black family moving out of the neighborhood. And then we have someone, you know, longingly looking at this property that's going to turn into luxury condos and then we heard about what happened in louisiana after hurricane katrina you know it of course wiped out and decimated many parts of um, probably predominantly black neighborhoods and then what happened is those black folks couldn't really come back to the neighborhood because these places were being bought out um, and then they were these black people were pushed out and this is a phenomenon that's not just happening in Louisiana it's happening all over the country you know the the homes the desirable homes um, that are in dilapidated ways 
um, in predominantly black neighborhoods get bought up and then the black folks get pushed out of the neighborhood and then it becomes not so culturally diverse in that neighborhood anymore. So I thought that was pretty cool that she went there with the, with the deck. Um, she goes there and I appreciate that about the deck. And I might do a video soon on some of my decks that are a little bit more of my activist type of decks. I only have a few, but um, this would be one of them that has definitely a certain voice and that it w it's not just for love readings or anything like that. I was trying to find the hurricane card. Sorry, guys. When I was riffle shuffling and getting all excited with myself, I, I don't know. I did not find it. Here is a Samaz I showed you all this other night. Here is eight of moths, eight of swords. Definitely gets me in a mood. Oh. I am not seeing my hurricane card. And I showed you on the Mardi Gras. I want to show you guys the star car again because I don't think I got a good look at that. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Judgment. Yeah, I am not seeing my hurricane card. Oh, oh, I found it. I found it. I think I did show you guys this. Eye of the storm I did and this is one the reason one of the reasons why the book is important because it has a meaning although Egan's uh, website has the meanings of the cards but again I'm one of those people that I like to support the artist especially an independent deck so I really like to get both the book and the deck especially when it's a little book like this when it's one of the big honking guy books I'm like do I really need it or not I'm glad. I actually, this might even be my favorites video because I actually really enjoy reading this book just on its own without even necessarily playing with the deck with it. So that's how much I like it. And I just got to show this Eight of Oysters one more damn time. So there you all have it. That's just some additional little thoughts and tidbits about the Delta Enduring Tarot. I invite you to share your thoughts about this particular deck. I love it so much. And I want to hear your thoughts on what you think about it. So anyways, many blessings to you all. Thanks so much for watching. And until the next video, bye.